we've got the response back and the response is 1.37 tokens per second okay guys hello welcome to another video just quick update on the large model which i managed to actually load into the memory of this graphic card and just to show you before i show how, how it's done uh, i've got the latest vulcan 1341 and 1341 for the cpu lama cpp and we've got hardware and uh, for some reason because i've got 120 12 gigabytes assigned to the system memory or 120 actually 120 assigned to the system memory and 8 gigabytes is only assigned to the gpu memory and for some reason i can see 120 there and 45 for the vram uh, not sure why but this is uh, what it is at the moment with this hardware okay so let's do the test first with the Vulkan Lama CP enabled and uh, selected as a default here. Uh, I want this video to be short, I just want to show you how this model is performing. So the model we're gonna test only today and just to load it is this largest model I've got. It's a Dipsic R1 Distill Lama 70B Quantinization 8 and the size of the file is actually 74 gigabytes it's showing here as a 69.8 gigabytes so 70 gigabytes so i will just select it and the only way you can do it it's to reduce gpu offload to actually 60. everything above that it will fail everything below that it will just lose the, on the performance even further so currently we are using vulcan and cpu will take most of the processing i think but let's try both so at the moment those settings so keeping memory some of the model is loaded to the gpu and i will leave the settings as it is because it's it's working that way so let's try it look on the, look on the memory look on the system memory and look on the gpu because that's that's interesting So the GPU memory cannot go any further than 8 gigabytes and system memory is in total is 120. So everything above 8 that is available for the model in a GPU needs to go to the system RAM. And this is how it's actually what is doing at the moment. And remember we are running now on the Vulkan and let's let's test it how fast it will perform on a Vulkan and we can switch to CPU and see if there is any difference. Actually, I didn't try that yet. I just came up with that idea five seconds ago. So we went to maximum almost 120 gigabytes in a system memory and now it's dropped to around 72, 73. I think it will go to around 80 five ish and should stabilize when the model is fully loaded into the RAM. So it, we've got we've got it fully loaded. So Dipsic R170 B quantization 8 70 gigabytes in size it's showing here 69.83 so let's give it a just high there but for some people if it is useful speed then it's it's okay then uh, if you can wait go make a cup of coffee make a sandwich and come back and have a response back why not
we've got the response back and the response is 1.37 tokens per second 197 tokens and it's uh, now 2.5 to first tokens to respond okay let's quickly switch to the uh, CPU Llama CPP and see if it will make actually any difference I'm not sure I didn't test it yet um, let's load it again so we've got actually loaded into the model uh, I didn't take any memory from the GPU and system memory is just loaded as it, the size of the model so that's interesting let's let's test it yeah it's much slower for the CPU and uh, just 14 tokens generated and we've got 0 0.86 tokens per second when we are using um, runtime CPU Llama CPP instead of the Vulkan. So Vulkan can give us around 1.5 tokens per second and CPU Llama CPP uh, it looks better when it's loading because it's, uh, it's just going straight to the RAM and stays there and the GPU is not even touched but the speed is much much slower. Okay guys, uh, this is it for this video. I just wanted to be quick. I just wanted to show you this. Is, it is possible to load the large model on like 69, probably even bigger if we use a CPU in this case. And uh, just is not very fast uh, yet. Uh, I think when the drivers and the software updates will be released, that should be improved in the future. Okay, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.